The Education Channel takes you inside the classroom to see what's cool in school. Students at East Naples Middle School participated in a Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, or STEM project, using the components of engineering to design, create and build bridges using materials easily accessible to them. Free technology applications such as Google SketchUp help students create 3D blueprints of their drawings. And then the students went to work scaling their projects into functional models. Seventh grader Jason Exantos explains how the engineering design process helped him solve the bridge challenge, making improvements along the way. For um, the science part, we had to experiment with a lot of pillars because actually it fell apart on us. And we had to absorb, we had, a, we had different ideas to use because at first we had um, cardboard and then that didn't work out so well. And so we used it, um, these wooden sticks. And then for the E part and stain, um, we had to add a lot of support because these, they kept falling on us. So we had to use string to attach them and we had to use this to hold it down so it could turn. And for the art part, we painted it blue. We added a lot of decorations and stuff like that in it. And then for math, we, we had a blueprint. This is it. We had to measure it out so it would fit on the paper. And we scaled it to this size so it would fit nicely across, and it did. And then we had to measure the rope because at first we had it too long, and it was kind of flappy. We wanted it nice and tight to look more professional and so it could hold it up better. Lastly, Deborah Call, a local engineer, helped judge the open-ended bridge challenge, which emphasized creativity, perseverance, and practicality. Well, we have to be really creative when we run into problems with design, and I think that with the students, they're looking at these bridges, coming up with designs, and then finding out that certain things don't work, and then they have to find a way around it, and teaching that creativity and that way to work around problems and to do problem solving in the real world is eventually going to make them better workers in the workforce. And now you know what's cool in school.